this week on Top Shelf Banter. That's you seem to be your only choice, unless I, you. I will shop at Am- Amazon <laughs> <laughs> before I shop at Walmart. <laughs> Donnie, you, I would. You, ra- hold on, Donnie. Why don't you take a drink of that water? <laughs> hold on. <laughs> really just, <sighs> hold on. Now, grab a beverage, sit back, relax, and listen to an athlete, a booze hound, a guy with a classic ride, and three other guys talk about anything, everything, and nothing all at the same time. Everybody have their drink? Yep. Me too. Let's do this. I've been thinking of some things I know just enough about That if someone shared their viewpoint I could surely shut them down So pour me a glass I'll drink it down fast And put your ignorance on blast On the top shelf banter Well, I'm more right than wrong Hello and welcome to Top Shelf Banter where banter comes from the top shelf, our topics come from the middle shelf, and our research comes from the bottom shelf. We have a rotating topic master. I am your host, Jimmy. Our topic master this week is the anchor to us all, Derek. Oh, hello. And last but certainly not least, the man that deserves no introduction. Zero accolades. Donnie. That's me. Hello. We are coming to you new and not improved without our beloved quartet Finisher, the fourth of the quartet. Now, the betrayer. The betrayer. Is that it? Is that he, now? He's ousted himself <laughs> on the podcast. Shaven, but he is here with us in spirit. And uh, But I don't believe that because spirits aren't real. Yeah, Spirits aren't real? Yep. Mm-hmm. Wow. Correct. So he's gone. First episode gone, and you're already coming swinging out the gate, And huh? also forgotten. <laughs> <laughs> Who are we talking about? <laughs> oh, Donnie, you're such a, such a kidster. As always, we encourage you, the listener, to sit back, relax with the beverage of your choosing, alcoholic or not. Take a picture of what you're drinking. Post it to social media using the hashtag Top Shelf Wednesday. I mean, hashtag Whiskey Wednesday. Hashtag vote Derek off. Mm, yeah, well, Chapin didn't get that message because he voted himself off. Hashtag Chapin's voted off. <laughs> hashtag he was the weakest link. <laughs> 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 I sure hope he doesn't become a listener now that he's not a banterer. <laughs> mm-hmm. Don't we all? Derek. Oh, yes, sir. What's in your glass? Oh, today I am enjoying a glass of Old Tub Kentucky Straight Bourbon Whiskey. Ooh. Yeah, it's a pretty delicious bottled and bond bourbon. Does it feel like you're sitting in an Old Tub when you drink it? I have no idea because I've never sat in an Old Tub before. What? So, what yeah. about a new tub? And probably not a new tub either. I've always been kind of just that moderate use tub. Hmm. Now just imagine that moderate use tub had been moderately used a little bit more, and now describe mm. that feeling. Yeah, nope, definitely better. Okay. Yeah, yeah. It, and it tastes better than if it had been distilled in an old tub. Mm. Does not imagine. taste like dirty mm. bath water. It is not. It is not like prison wine. Mm. High, <laughs> high press. <laughs> <that>. Yeah. <laughs> It is is much better than a uh, prison wine. That is, uh, well, that's good to hear. Yes. Is that the slogan for it? Old tub, better than prison wine. <laughs> I, you know, it's right below unfiltered. Yep. Right there. It says unfiltered, better than prison wine. I do prefer a filtered prison <laughs> wine, though. <laughs> Donnie, is that what you, um, is that what you indulged in? Today? Yes. No, I saved this for special occasions. Oh. Like mm. my 18th birthday, which I'm about to celebrate next month. Again? Yep. Wow. Well, for the first time, again. Again. Yeah. First time, second time. Again. <laughs> right, exactly. It's the, first, it's the first second time. It's the first time this year, second time the last decade. Right, exactly. Because yeah. I am only 18. <laughs> Speaking of aged wine. Yep. What are you? What's in your glass, Donnie? Mm. It's just a little bit of cheap gin and some uh, Le Cruch mm. mixer with some ice to chill it. What kind of cheap gin? I don't know, tanked, Tanqueray. Mm. That, you know, so it's, it's better than old Bombay, but. I love that, you know, this is a guy that lives on the high shelf. He's like, well, I'm drinking, you know, some cheap gin, which is like one of the more highly produced uh, middle shelf gins that is available everywhere. That's not fair. Isn't That's it, like calling Jack Daniels middle shelf. Just isn't Idris Alba is the, uh, <laughs> isn't Idris Alba spot or one of the spokespeople for Tanqueray? Or uh, I don't, don't know. they sponsor him? I don't, uh, don't Can know. the actor be sponsored? Or is the actor I, like No, a, I think it's more like um, the vex. he's being paid to promote them. Oh, yeah. the promoter. Yeah. 
So is that Idris Elba the promoter of Tank Girl? Maybe. He might be the spoke person. Ooh. Spoke, I believe spoke person. A spoke person is a human wheel for a wagon. Oh. Ah, that's yes. a spoke person. Paint your wagon. I yeah. feel like that's going to be the go. that's, yeah. that's going to be the next movie from the director of Human Centipede. Spoke person. Spoke person. Ooh. <laughs> Making the human wagon wheel. Oh my but, god, yeah, that'd be so I would watch it. <laughs> I'd watch that. Oh no, he's going for the date and hundred spoke. Ooh, wow. <laughs> that's a big wheel. That is a giant wheel. <laughs> and tightly sp- I hope I hope backed. it floats when they go for the river. <laughs> oh no, they've all died of drowning. <laughs> oh no. Oh, Turn to restart. Not making the Oregon Trail this time. Do you think he actually? Do you think that would be the whole movie? Is that he he doesn't just aim to make the wagon, but he aims to make the wagon and use it literally along the entire Oregon Trail. I mean, that is kind of the point of making a wagon, right? That'd be well. I mean, sometimes you make a wagon and you want to haul a kid around to like on the beach with it. You don't have to go oh, to the Oregon Trail. So just like a little radio flyer. Yeah, like not patent, sponsored though. Patent so pending. Any other type of wagon, not particularly a radio flyer, mm-hmm. okay. not particularly a TV submarine <laughs> do you think he started out with a radio flyer and then worked his way up to a full wagon to a conestoga wagon yeah. i'd like to think if that movie was made it would be a 48 hour long film and we would get all the minutiae of the surgeries and then every second of that organ trail <laughs> sped up of course do you think for horses he actually has human centipedes i would hope so oh. <laughs> no horses just drawn by human centipede mm-hmm. <laughs> Gross. Mm-hmm. How many? So they, uh, you can't pull they too just hard. Do the worm. <laughs> <laughs> Is that a six coach? Mm-hmm. <laughs> six human? <laughs> Wait, no. No, that wouldn't be. No, that would be 18, right? Because if people call it like a stage coach that was drawn by like uh, six horses, they used to call it like a six horse, right? I, I've never, I don't know. I that, know that they've. That I've never heard. Horse drawn, but any other details on that, I don't know. So, Apparently you're the expert. Hold on, on let's. This is a question for Big draws. Jim because yeah. we can we can extrapolate this, and this is where the term <laughs> horsepower came from. I'm assuming. So if this they is were true. if they were drawn by six horses, that's a six horser. Yep. Does that mean that a Mustang with 342 horsepower that's 342 horses? It's mimicking. 100. percent Okay. That yes. prob- that's probably true. We should probably ask Big Jim just yep. to make sure. Probably. Yeah, that's yep. Probably what it is though. Yeah. 100. percent I believe that is how the term horsepower came as the equivalent of a horse-drawn carriage. I don't yeah. think that's true. What's 100%. the equivalent of a horse per human centipede? How many people have to be a part of that human centipede to equal one horse? Uh, you're probably, I mean, it, it depends a lot on like the people, you know, someone like me versus someone like Donnie, we're, we're going to have two completely different abilities of, of pulling of horse. And yeah. yeah and, uh, um, uh, endurance, like, so let's let's base. I would it. be a terrible well, we human can... centipede for anything. <laughs> let's go off of like the actual movie where he had one Asian man and two white women. You th- Derek, be racist and comment on the athleticism or... of women and Asian men. <laughs> <laughs> Derek, what's your opinion on that? No, <laughs> but like so, like so, like those are those like average people, right? Average. Yeah. Okay. No one super. Se- Seventeen centipedes. Seventeen, and they're going to wow. be four deep. So. Four Four person centipedes. You need seventeen of them. Sixty-eight people to equal yeah. what? Uh, one horse. What if we? Did oh this? no, no, no! Just to draw a whole carriage. So probably twelve to equal one horse. Twelve people to equal one horse. Yeah. So three centipedes. God, that's got to be one long. What's the uh, thing that they hook the horses up to? When they, like the tongue, right? Is that what it is? The tongue. Sure. Tongue. Harnesses? Is it the tongue? No, no. What the uh, harnesses well, the t- go the to? The tongue would well, be gonna, to I'm, come out the oxen pole. Yeah. I'm going to guess that that would be the drawn because you have the horses and you have the carriage and it's horse drawn <laughs> carriage. So obviously the piece that connects them is the drawn. Right. Drawn being the yes. noun, not the verb. Yes. Yes. Horse drawn <laughs> carriage. I mean, it makes perfect sense. This is worth a Google. Now, this is worth a Google. I have a question. So if cars are measured in horsepower, so that means trucks should be married, uh, measured in oxen power? Since they were, you know, the pullers and the haulers versus the horses. I mean, I, I think that would fit mm-hmm. better. Yeah. I also have a question. I like it. Instead of a human centipede, what if we just made a human centipede horse? Because you, the people Ooh. who act with them, you know, one person stands up and is the front of the horse and there's the back of the horse. Yeah. So you could still sew somebody's mouth to an ass as they're bent over pretending to be the back of a horse. Mouth, okay. Mouth okay. to butt. Yeah, mouth to butt. It would still be painful. It would still not be great. And you'd hate <laughs> to look at it. <laughs> <laughs> then, it then it's a horse with four arms. Ooh. 
you know, then and if, four legs. So that's it, a, that's basically a spider. That's a cin- right? human centipede. And, and, and I don't want to kink shame, but I think those people in the pony play would be way too excited about that. Well, Derek, we're not making ponies. All right, we're so making I, horses. Oh, yeah. I found Sorry. it. There is a huge difference. There is a huge difference. <laughs> so it's called the falling tongue. Is that giant part that sticks out from the front of the wagon, and then where the horses or oxen get attached to is called the neck yoke. Ah, so not drawn. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. Right. So really, the horse fallen tongue carriage. <laughs> that's that's, that's a really be, long name. I see why they went with drawn. Yeah, right. That's going to be one drawn long mu- fallen tongue. Drawn must be an acronym. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Don't <laughs> rear about when <laughs> neighing. Did you know that where the uh, person who drives the wagon where they said it's called the jockey box? Hmm. I feel like I've heard that before. The more you know. Yeah. Those of you about to go cross country on a wagon, you now know where to call out. (laughs) Get up on that jock box, boy. Get on Drive this wagon. Drive that wagon, boy. They, of course, say that down south because they're racist. Well, I was going to say they say it on wagons because they normally have a small child driving the wagon. Ah. That way, Mm. because they can strap him down and he wasn't bounce all over the place. True. That's true. Well, also back in the day, they didn't have... They didn't have... uh, a wide variety of tasty, delectable treats, such right. as candy, or as they call it, candy. Right. Itself. Con- yep. I feel like mm-hmm. um, <laughs> these modern day horse. Um, oh, the iron horses? <laughs> yeah, no, 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 not the iron horse. Mm. Um, although, Smoke has there wagons. ever been an oh, iron horse drawn carriage? There should be. That would be cool. I imagine there's been a train um, that just drawn. They're called on chariots. But that- no, iron horse, motorcycle. Oh. So a drawn carriage, but motorcycles instead of horses. Oh, I thought they were the fastest Indian. <laughs> <laughs> movie starring Anthony Hopkins. <laughs> Is that an yeah. actual movie? Yeah, because it's a motorcycle, the Indians. The Indian mm-hmm. motorcycle. Yeah. I had no idea that was a movie. Oh. Mm-hmm. Really showing your age there, Donnie. It was made like 15 years ago. <laughs> I don't believe that. It, it absolutely was. <laughs> was not. It no, it was. I don't believe you. <clears throat> Fake news. Yeah, not to be confused with Wild Hogs. Also right. made about 15 years ago. Correct. Was was Wild Hogs competing with the, no. the fallen Indian? What, yep. <laughs> one, was a, one was a heartwarming tale about the man trying to break the ground speed record in a, in a motorcycle. And the other one was about four eh, overage people who really aren't that funny anymore traveling across country on motorcycles. Oh. Mm-hmm. I mean, you tell me Martin Lawrence was funny 15 years ago. He was. He wasn't. Blue streak. I mean, that I mean, was 20 years ago. Yeah, and to be fair, Martin Lawrence wasn't funny 30 years ago. Uh, so, I, ju- I trust me. I just watched a trailer for House Party because apparently it's on Netflix again. And I was like, "Oh, House Party! I remember this." I was like, "Oh my god, I remember how unfunny Martin Lawrence was." <laughs> I mean, all you have to do is watch uh, uh, Men in not Men in Black. Men in Black. Oh, uh, Martin. No, <laughs> I wasn't going down his whole filmography. Blue streak. <laughs> Blue Streak 2. <laughs> Bad Boys. Bad Boys 3. Uh, yes, Bad Boys 3. Yes. You can see how funny, unfunny Martin Lawrence was. Yeah. Well, sorry, Martin Lawrence. I know, <laughs> he's I know a, you need the money, but he, yeah, he's funny. a huge fan of this show, but, well, was. Well, not anymore. He was a close friend. <laughs> was. Huh. That's weird. He hangs out with Will Smith and Jimmy. Yeah. <laughs> He calls, can, me, he, he calls me he calls me J Dog, but it's you, of course he you does. can see where his career went wrong. He started hanging yeah. out with Will Smith. The guy can't figure out if he wants to rap or do movies. Like, pick a fucking career, dude. It's not that difficult. That take coming from Derek twenty years too late. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know he's dropped a rap album in twenty years. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> he dropped. Uh, he also hasn't made good acting decisions when he turned down Independence Day two for that shit movie that he made instead. I don't which know. Which was. I don't know. Isn't that the one that he did with his son? Before that Mars. Was the fucking worst goddamn movie he's ever made. Planet Earth? Nope. Oh. That's na- narrated by David Attenborough, <laughs> and it's a nature documentary. Yeah. Um, the one where he literally. Last, is like last him, Man on Earth? Like nope. him and his son. That's New uh, Earth? Nope. Oh, Planet Earth. Nope. <laughs> Said that already. <laughs> oh, Battlefield Earth. <laughs> ah, <laughs> John Travolta. Oh, yes, yes. Also a terrible movie, but fun. <laughs> You're thinking of After Earth. Oh, that's it. Yeah. Yeah. There we go. Yeah. Wait, yeah. Gemini Man wasn't wasn't with his son. No, see, no, that was with a, two of his clones. Wow. Spoiler alert. Oh no. And also, I haven't terrible. seen it. Haven't seen it. <laughs> Still want to see it. Still terrible. That is what not was, good. What was the last good film that Will Smith did? Um, Wild Wild West. I Robot. 
Really? No. <laughs> well, I robot was good. I robot um, was fun. Hancock. That was a fun one. Mm. The movie about uh, COVID nineteen. Nope. I mean also concussion. The, uh, Pursuit of happiness. I am legend. I am legend. Really was about COVID nineteen. If you think about it, if you really read mm-hmm. between the lines. Right. Exactly. Right. Uh, Pursuit of happiness. That was a good movie. But that also was like two thousand three. So yeah. Yeah. Oh, Independence Day. Probably the last good movie he did. I mean, it's a very good movie. It is. Mm. Bad Boys 2 came out after that, so yeah. Bad Boys 2 is good. Yeah, that is true. And yeah. this has been a Will, oh, Will nope, Smith nope. fanboy podcast. You know what it is? The the mo- last good movie he did was the one he did for Netflix with the orcs, and he's a cop with an orc cop. Oh, that was not a good movie. Oh, I don't fairy. remember the name of it, but yes. Blink, Blind something. Yes, great movie. Everybody should watch it three oh, times. Oh, it is straight garbage. <laughs> what? You didn't like it? It was so bad. It was good. No. It was good. What, what was good about it? The acting? Yeah. that wasn't good. Was it the writing? Because it was not good. <laughs> the racism towards orcs and elves? Because, I mean, realistically, You're right. they that... deserve it. <laughs> <laughs> uh-huh. Yeah, I mean, we can all agree there. Yeah. No orc in my house. That's what I say. <laughs> and yet, have you seen who you're married to? <laughs> Boom! Got her. Yeah. Got him. Yeah. Miniature yeah. orc. But let's not talk about all of his house elves that he has. I keep saying that he's got a problem, but... Yeah. Do he you slaps him around with socks. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think... So, like, like you know in The Incredibles, right? Where, uh, how, like... That's, that's the very, a right turn that we took. No, there. no, no. Stay with me. Stay with me on this path. <laughs> Stay with me. Right? Stay with me through this meandering path. If you mention right. Frozone, I'm going to have to stop us. <laughs> oh, so so you know, like in um, the Incredibles, Will Smith, right? How the mole? No, that's <laughs> that's Sam Jackson. <laughs> where the where the mole people come up from the from underground, and they're like, "Oh, the mole people! Finally, we can do that." Do you think underground there's orcs and elves like living? Ah. and they saw that movie. Insert movie title here where Will Smith was incredibly racist towards orcs and elves, and they said, we'll wait another 15 years. So you're promoting hollow earth theory. Sure. sure. Mixed mixed with Lord of the Rings. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So hollow hollow ring theory. I like it. I mean, realistically, like, if you think about it, the earth... conspiracy. If you think about it, like the, like the earth is flat, right? We all know this. Sure. Wait a minute. Wait, whoa, 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 I, I know whoa, whoa, whoa. earth is, earth is flat. Wedding ring. Let me and, explain this. Underneath whoa. it is... Alternate Earth. I'm I'm really confused. How can something that's flat also be hollow? Let me show you, Jimmy. It's hollow me, on the hollow on the backside. Let so me see your oh. wedding ring. <laughs> no, because you're gonna throw. I'm it not, not going to throw your wedding ring. I promise you. Wait, you got married? <laughs> so here. Okay. Oh no! He, he told me he wasn't going to throw it. And he threw it. What an asshole! Right, for for our, for our audience, I'm now holding it between my thumb and pointer finger horizontally. Now this. Is a flat ring. Would you agree? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And yet, on the inside, hollow. Okay, Ooh, oh. that's where the orcs and elves live. Gotcha. All on right. this flat ring earth. Okay. And that's where Tolkien got the idea for Lord of the Rings. I thought it was all more right. like a, you know, wow. the top side is where you know everybody lives, not mm-hmm. a yeah. donut like those no, idiots so on the internet think it is. Right. No. Those so everyone's living under, on top, and then the on the underside is the alter earth where orcs and elves live. Oh, so that's the. So when it's daylight here, it's sunlight. Or nighttime there. Yes. That, that would be, uh-huh. would that be the upside down world? Uh, no, because Actually. that's, that's in the middle. That's in the middle of it. Oh, now I'm really confused. Yeah. So it's like a, like a three layer cake. Right. And the, uh, the, which one's the, vanilla? The upside down top is, side. is, yeah. How is the top side of filling? <laughs> I am so confused about this. You're going <laughs> to, you're going to have dessert cake. You're going to need a whiteboard and you're going to have to start drawing this stuff so no. I can figure Not it out. a whiteboard. Out, but... You need a, a see-through board, a plastic board. So you can oh, look at it from both sides. there you go. Yeah. Like earth. Yeah. Right. Exactly. Yes. Yes. Kind of. Okay. See? Kind of like, just right. like, we're doing the math on our side, the good side. Just like flat the earth. other side is where the orcs live. Those idiots. They eat, they ate the markers. <sighs> yeah. God damn it. And then they wanted to show their face. They said, maybe now is the time. And then mm. Will Smith came out with that movie. Bright. And they saw that. The that Bright. Yes. Bright. There it is. And uh, they were like, no, you know what? This is this is probably what it would be like if we were to go up there. So <sighs> we'll wait Makes another sense. 15 years. It's a good idea. Um, so now that we've spent 20 minutes, uh, what's in your glass? Oh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Rainier, as always, and uh, Ha Ha te- Blanco Tequila, or oh. Ja Ja. I don't know which one it is. All right, my dialect is. It could also be Ya Ya. Could be Ya Ya, but... I mean, I guess it just depends on how racist you want to be. 
Is, or say, how American because you don't speak Spanish because you're racist. Would it be Yaya, though? It could be. From Mexico? Yeah. No? Yeah. How? The J? It's a soft J? <laughs> oh, like yogging? Exactly like oh, Okay. <laughs> now it makes sense. Mm-hmm. I thought that's how Pennsylvanians talked. No, with that's, the soft that's J. yuging. The <laughs> yaw. <laughs> yuging. <sighs> <laughs> Well, since we went on a giant tangent, came back around. Yes. The drink section is over. Is Congratulations, it? we did oh, it. Oh man, we made it. Now we're on to chore. Now we're on to the topics. Derek, topic number one. What's your what's your Ooh, first topic like for that. us? Uh well, you know, it's uh we're getting into the end of summer. Coming into the beginning of uh fall. And it's uh fall brings April showers. Uh, no, you that's know. spring. No. <laughs> <laughs> You're getting too far ahead. That's that's going to be in like six months. Um, fall brings blood the curling screams <laughs> or does, holidays. It will. It's it, the fall is going to bring holidays, which you know, obviously, I'm going to include the winter with Christmas. Yep. So for the rest of the summer, or rest of the summer, yes, for the rest of the summer, which yep. holiday are you looking forward to? Um, holidays, and with those holidays, you get the seasonal drinks. Everybody loves a seasonal drink. So, do you have a favorite holiday or a favorite seasonal drink? Or why, in Donnie's case, do you hate both? I'm going to tell you after Jimmy gives you his answer. <laughs> well, I was going to say, I, I like all of the holidays. I especially like Christmas break because I get two weeks off of work, which is uh, pretty neat. Uh, it is neat. But uh, this year I might go in because it's... Uh, triple pay, but uh, um, <laughs> hold on, hold on. Let's make a prediction. Jimmy said that now every every Christmas for the yep. last three Christmases. Yeah, I don't think he's and once st- gone in. Yeah, maybe oh. for like half a day one year. It's like yeah. fuck this and walked out. Yep. Nope, can't do it. So nope. I, I I do say that every Donnie, year. You are not wrong, Donnie. This All is right. the one thing you are not wrong on. <laughs> um, I don't know. I I can't really nail down a specific holiday that I like. Maybe daylight. Maybe um. You know, daylight savings time. It's a pre- <laughs> daylight savings. <laughs> so you like the winter solstice? <laughs> I, I like to celebrate the winter solstice. I like to get naked, go out into the moonlight, and dance with uh, mead. Yeah. It'll be beanie right. weather soon. Be boots. Yeah. Vest. Yep. Mm, you can get some new boots. Yeah. I do need some new, uh, yeah. new so your boots. Fa- your favorite one is when we fall back and lose an hour? No. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I think you got confused on which is which. <laughs> but I think uh, uh, the holiday that, that besides the daylight savings hour where we fall back, the holiday that really comes around is really not uh, that I celebrate the most. doesn't really have a specific date, but it already happened. And that's when we finally get to indulge in pumpkin spice lattes. Mm, they're already out. I know. They're already I out. So excited at Dutch Bros., on Thursday, I not went. Sponsor. Not not a sponsor because they sponsor the Portland Timbers Boo. And um, <laughs> uh, I got myself an iced uh, caramel pumpkin spice brulee. Ooh, soft top. Nice. D D E Lish. So I guess that's my favorite um, holiday to celebrate when pumpkin spice falls upon everybody. Right. And then we get to bathe, yeah, nope, bathe in it. That's kind of kind of what in it. what made me uh, think about it is because yesterday I was we did some impromptu just wandering around Aaron and I. Mm-hmm. And we went to Barnes and Noble and they got the little cafe that serves Starbucks coffee, but they are not Starbucks. We found that out. They serve Starbucks coffee, but you can't use any of your Starbucks rewards there. What? Yeah, it used to be a Starbucks. Yeah, yeah. It's it's Barnes and Noble's ca- cafe featuring Starbucks coffee. So. They they're still like associated with Starbucks, but you can't use any Starbucks perks. But if you're a member of Barnes and Noble, do they sell Starbucks memorabilia? No, I don't think they had any of the cups or anything. They just the coffee tumblers. That yeah, I don't think they had any of that. Um, Fine, I don't remember seeing it. So, but um, (laughs) but, this is Jimmy's vigilante. (laughs) Yeah, so they they Starbucks, but not a Starbucks, right? Yeah, they're like, hmm, weird. I don't know if I like it. Let me get to the bottom of this. 
Uh, finally, we're actually recording. Man, we have to start Welcome all to the over. Podcast. <laughs> <laughs> this is top shelf banter. You've joined us in progress. Yeah, he just he, the corner Jimmy of my just eye. turned on the recording light. So I did um, it. We could have been interrupted at any time. Yeah. So um, we got there, and I was like, "Oh my god, the pumpkin spice is back!" I was mm-hmm. like, Ooh, and then they have. I, I'm sure they've had it before. I feel like I've seen it before, but they're apple crisp. Hmm. And uh, it's an apple crisp macchiato, and I just asked for it blended. Say it, say it correctly, macchiato. Macchiato, okay, macchiato. Yeah. Um, macchiato. There you go. There you got is. the hands involved. Now <laughs> we, now we understand what you're saying. But My apologies I, to our Irish listeners. Yeah. So I wanted it. <laughs> um, I wanted it blended, and so I got Ugh. it blended, and it was really good. Apple crisp, so good. Yeah, that one might be my new favorite seasonal drink. The apple crisp? Yeah, that was really good. Yeah, Aaron got it as an Americano, so mm-hmm. just the apple crisp flavoring and an Americano, and that was really good, too. So, the uh, There's a drink that everyone always sleeps on. It's the salted caramel latte. Yeah, but that's there year-round, isn't it? Nope. No? It's oh. also a seasonal drink with the pumpkin spice. Okay. They, they uh, fight I mean, head-to-head about who's better. Everybody oh, okay. goes with the pumpkin spice because it's really basic well, yeah yeah it's i'm it's basically uh if you wear uggs that's the only drink that you're ever going to drink but it yeah, sleeps on the, the other six camel. months of the year uh just tons of iced coffee iced coffee iced lattes gotcha. realistic the, the other one that i really like which isn't out yet it'll be out a little bit later is the eggnog so not a fan oh i love eggnog milkshake Whew. I'm excited for that. Of course, McDonald's never uh, has a machine working, so you're never going to be able to actually drink it, but eggnog milkshakes. Donnie, if you had to drink one of those drinks for the rest of your life, and you can't say none of them, salted eggnog- caramel, pumpkin. Egg- eggnog milkshake. Eggnog? Oh, Good love choice. Eggnog. Yeah. You're a big eggnog fan? Yeah, love it. Mm-hmm. But let me tell you why I hate seasonal drinks. Why? Because <laughs> it's dumb. I understand having limited edition things, but you know what? If, let's say, Bud Light had their fall seltzer pack and had the ginger snap beer in a 12 pack. I buy right. that every single day. And I know at least seven other people would as well. There's no point in having a seasonal drink like that. I give like a shamrock shake or a pumpkin shake because you only have like one tub in your, your milkshake machine. Can't have it all year round. You can't swap those out when somebody wants one. Those should be seasonal or, you know, cycle through month after month after month. Who cares really? Should be, oh, today we have shamrock shakes because we found a bag and that's delicious. Yep. Which is, you know, a delicious treat at McDonald's. But for a beer or a coffee. Also why... not a sponsor. Right. Burger King is where it's at. <laughs> <laughs> Wrong. Um, but for a seasonal beverage like a beer or something that you can manufacture anytime you want and just can... you just have the same amount of sales. It People aren't going to buy them more because you're limited, you're, you're, you're limited them, the production of them. But it, so it's going to sell out either way. Yeah. No, I, I agree with you on that one. And uh, Aaron is really upset that the uh, like summer Bud Light Seltzer pack is already like hard to find because yeah. they're not making it anymore. Because that might be one of their best like packs. It's annoying. Yeah, I, I agree. That one should be there. Stuff like that it would be no nice one to have. It wants option. to drink peppermint or ginger snap during the summertime. Absolutely, they do. Peppermint, no, that's a delicious summertime treat. No, it's not. Oh my goodness, Jimmy. Yes, it is. No. I mean, yes, it is. No, I, I, yes, I, it is. I wouldn't no. be against peppermint. What is sometime. wrong with it's both of you? It's refreshing because it's like it is. It's a it's refreshing like, taste. It's like an ice cube it's in the mouth. Mint. Yeah, it's have, peppermint. Have you never had pepper like a York peppermint patty? You no, bite you it. Eat it's those an in the winter time? Do you constantly cool. like having the like toothpaste in your mouth twenty four hours there's a day? A, there's a difference. There's, it's an ex- well, one learn to rinse your mouth and drink <laughs> something other than mint. It's peppermint an explosion of coolness. Peppermint is just like toothpaste. There, if you have I said pepper, it. if you have peppermint toothpaste, but there's also spearmint no. and winter mint still and mint. winter green, still mint mm-hmm. or different flavors of mint, still mint, mm-hmm. different mm-hmm. flavors. I like peppermint only during the uh, Christmas time, mm. and even then, I don't even indulge myself in them. Then you don't get a vote. I do. No, <laughs> I only enjoy it for one month, and even then, I don't enjoy it. I don't even enjoy it. Like. <laughs> I like the smell of it, but I'm not going to be like, mm, it's 100 degrees out. You know what would be really awesome? A peppermint uh, iced coffee. Yes. Dumb. That sounds great. I drink it. 
Is this is this where we fight? Apparently, <laughs> I've not, you have a lot of bad takes, but this is one of the worst. No, that's bad. So okay, you let's let's me? focus on it's, a different flavor. It's supposed let's to be focus on I ginger got, snap. I got a question. Ginger snap. Ew. <laughs> Ew. That's a holiday thing. You can have ginger snap cookies any time of the year. No, you can't. It, no. How much you want to bet? No. Well, I bet I'm you I can sure bring you a batch of ginger go, snap cookies Probably go tomorrow. and buy it. Whatever. But it's yeah. a it's a drink. And a s- peppermint is the smell, right? right? Same so like I got some with ginger snap. But it's a smell of holidays. Got, sm- I got two things for you. It's a smell, that- a smell of Christmas and Thanksgiving. And Derek, before you go, let me just, before we go, this the smell of Jimmy. When you get Christmas presents, are they wrapped? Yeah. And when you get have a birthday, are those presents wrapped? Yeah. Pick a lane wrapping. No. You only have it one time a year, and that's Christmas. Nope. Nope, you can never have a birthday present wrapped ever again. Presents are always wrapped. That's no. how it is. No. Well, not if you get them from me. Right. <laughs> it's also you're wrong again. Yeah. Okay, wrapping so is significantly different. I disagree. I, to be I honest, I smell though, wrapping paper, and I think Christmas, and then I all of a sudden it's my birthday, and I hate it. To be honest, when you said wrapping it still paper, has I Christmas thought you were gonna, decorations. I, th- I thought you were going to go down like, what if they made a wrapping paper latte? Would you uh, really indulge in it then? Mm, cardboard. I mean, delectable. I mean, you enjoy pumpkin, so sure, why not? Let's go down that road. Pumpkin's delicious. Mm-hmm. It's so good. Ooh, interesting. Better than eggnog. I said that. You can argue that till the day cows come home, Jimmy. I <laughs> and I hope you do. I said it. I won't be around for it. But <laughs> So I have a question. Okay. Ginger is a holiday flavor. Is that was that your question? That's more of a statement? Yes it, or no. Th- that's a you believe what well, you're saying, your statement was that ginger and peppermint are holiday flavors. Now what gin, like ginger so, snaps? But still ginger. Because we, because ginger bread, ginger snap. Still ginger. Yes. So then you so have. I thought you were going to go for the root of ginger, and I was like, "Well, you could use that year round." But that's sure. my exact argument. Is then you have <laughs> ginger ale, ginger beer. There's Your wife's lots of ginger. There's lots of different gingers that you can enjoy year round. So why is snap or gingerbread only seasonal? And then while you're thinking about that, peppermint. Do you enjoy chewing gum to freshen your breath, or maybe a nice little Altoid? No. That's peppermint year round. No. Hmm. That's I know spearmint. what kind of jump Jimmy. Oh, well, you can have peppermint gum. <laughs> Definitely can get beers. And there's also spearmint gum. That's yeah. why there's different colors of uh, Wrigley's yeah. gum. Yeah, I've got peppermint. Blue, green, and red. I got peppermint in my desk at work right now. These are so wrong. Both of you. <laughs> wrong. I'm going to come over tomorrow and just throw $100 worth of peppermint gum at you. <laughs> no, I'll hate I'll hate it. But it doesn't matter. I'm still going to do it. To <laughs> <that point. laughs> and I want this recording equipment on so we can capture it. Oh, those are those are fall things. Those are fall and but winter things. You, you may want them only in fall, but there's tons of other people who would appreciate having them all year instead of being limited. Like, oh, if I buy the the seltzer or the candy or the shake now, I won't get to enjoy it. And let's say July. Why well, say? Get off your butt. <laughs> you get off your tuchus, uh huh, and go shopping and try to get that uh. Those seltzers, those Bud Light seltzers in the in the stock them up, stock them up. Mm-hmm. It's a limited edition. Jimmy, Jimmy's them, all in favor. Rack them and clap them. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you know, as for the you know devil advocate side of it, I understand why these companies do it because it does take up resources for something that may not be as popular majority of the time, and um. I, I lost my other point uh, as I was talking. Derek it, died. So. Then my counterpoint yeah. to that would be just, you know what? Do limited runs, but oh, do more than one of that, them. That's what it is, is. Well, they do. And that's the other point mm. is that when they, I think they use the gimmick of limited, they like to throw limited edition on things and then they run it as a short run for a short period of time to gimmick people into buying it because people in general are habitual like that and are easily sold on marketing schemes. So I don't know what you're pointing at me. I don't buy it because it's limited. I no, yeah, buy it because I enjoy it. Yeah, he said he wants a year round. I want a year def- round. Yeah, no, I, I'm just saying, and I'm Still playing devil's. You. But I understand. Yeah, I'm I playing devil's that. advocate for the company. I, I see why they do it. But they'd still but. make the same amount of money. You can do in the fall a hundred thousand run, and then everybody buys it. And you're like, oh, we made a hundred bajillion dollars. Yeah, and then just or every a, other month of that, you do a ten thousand dollar run. And you know what? Everyone's still going to buy it because remember in wintertime when that was delicious and we yeah. still like it? Oh my God, yeah. it's still so good. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I also wish that when they had the variety packs were like... Correct. Because yeah. there's a lot of them where they only put certain flavors in variety packs. Yep. And then you're like, oh, I got this variety pack and I only like two of the six flavors mm-hmm. offered. So 
Fuck. That's the great thing about San Juan Seltzers is they do variety packs, but also single packs of like six a piece. You mean San Juan? Of, San, San Juan. Of yes. all of the flavors yeah. in. See, that's yeah. cool. That, yeah. More people need to do that. Like, yeah. I, I like hate I said, it. I would buy Ginger Snap all year long. Yeah. Ew. I need to try it's that delicious. one. I'm excited to find a, a case. Ew. Well, Ew. we're going to load up our attic this year with him. Go buy nice. $10,000 worth of that beer. <laughs> <laughs> Keep it up there. <laughs> Got a year's mm, worth of not, seltzer. Not going to share it with Jimmy, though. And in fact, every time I go to a store, I'm going to buy 10 cases of Rainier and then destroy it. No. Ooh, yeah. Nice. That's a waste. And then, and then return them to recycle them and get my money back. starving <laughs> children in Africa. <laughs> Who already would, have water. They, they don't would, need garbage water. They would kill uh, for Rainier. You know what I wish was limited edition? Rainier. Once a year, you can buy one can and that's it. Mm. Wow. Yep. Take that. Because I hate the taste and I don't think it should be around ever. <laughs> But you can enjoy a Rainier year round. It's I not, know, and that's a problem. It should be limited. To, it's not stuck to one flavor, yeah, or it what? is stuck to one flavor, but it's <laughs> not stuck to the uh, to the you multiple know what? That, flavors. That I don't me get a, end of February out, type beverage, and that's I, it. I don't February twenty first to twenty eighth. Ooh, ooh a, a peppermint Rainier, delish. Mm, <laughs> ginger snap Rainier. This would be great mm -hmm. in the garbage. <laughs> right, right with the other Rainiers. <laughs> no, because they're all garbage. Regular Rainiers. Good year round. Nah, disagree. Hmm. I drink seven a year, one a day, and the holiday I just made up at the end of February. <laughs> it's the last time we'll see Rainier this year. It starts and ends, and then we're well, done. There is a holiday at and the end celebrate. of every February. Once every four years, it's leap year. See? Uh, yep, and that's when Rainier should be around. <laughs> leap year. And that's <laughs> it. Every four one years. day. <laughs> Man. It Buy was, your cases then. It would go, places would go crazy. Yeah. If there were something like, that God, was only available in leap year. We have, we have way too much Ron A. We're never going to sell out of it. And, right. and that March 1st, we're like, see, we still have all these pallets of Ron A. You know, I want to know why there isn't a company that hasn't done that. Done a leap year edition of something. I imagine there has. Where they released it. There probably has been, and we just haven't seen it. But that's what I would do. Like, fuck yeah. I'm going to release this. Only available on the 29th. All why? other... Huh? Why? Again, why? If it's good, people will buy it whenever you want. Well, I mean, I would probably it's do... the gimmick. It would probably... What's the gimmick? That you don't want to make money for the rest of the year? For no. three years? And people well, will be like, oh, it's so good. Two, two steps. One. Overcharge it, for it? No, I wouldn't oh. overcharge. But two yes. steps. One is it's it's the gimmick. So you're going to get that marketing uh, scheme where people are going to be like, oh, I got to try this. It's only available. Two... It would also probably be a product that I would bring back, but it would bring it back under a different label if it was popular. Okay, fine. So yeah. At the beginning of um, our childhoods, Mountain Dew was a big part. Mountain Dew used to be Mountain Dew and Diet Mountain Dew. I think that's it. And then Code Red. Nope. Well, yes. And then they brought Livewire during the summers. Now, mm -hmm. Jimmy, can you enjoy a Livewire anytime throughout the year now? Uh, I enjoyed Livewire when I was explicit ex experimenting with with caffeine <laughs> when i was exclusively i don't know why i tried to say explicably but i was exclusively playing halo 3 mm. right but you could do that all year long it doesn't have to be a summertime beverage sure sure but now you can get it all year long you no but but no. you can you no. you can't turn your argument around now that you realize that they still sell it all year long don't like that hmm you don't <laughs> like that yeah uh huh. So he like still that. only drinks it in that window that it used right, to only be right, available. The summer. That's it. Code red yeah. though, all year long. No, really. Yeah, I'm not a code red fan. Okay, right yeah. in the garbage. I honestly haven't had a code red in years. <laughs> yeah, neither have I. Do they still make the code red? I don't know. I don't go to yeah. the soda aisle. Hmm. They make because uh, they've got so many flavors now. Like that. I like that melon mania one. That one's really good. Um. But those all those all started as limited edition ones. A few years yeah. ago, there was a limited edition Mountain Dew, the the Dew SA. Yep. yep. At Voltage, yep. Uh, yeah, mix, Voltage, Code Red, and Snow, Snow Blizzard, Whiteout, Whiteout. I they've it was they've got a a current limited edition seasonal one for Halloween out called uh, Voodoo. And it is a mystery flavor. Is it a graveyard of all the Mountain Dews? I don't know. It's, it's probably just a rebranding of their pitch black version, which was straight garbage no, from 20 years ago. It's definitely not the pitch black. I, I, I'm i pretty sure it's just a rebranded one that they've had before because it's good. I enjoyed mm. it. Is it Dew SA uh, again? I would, you know, you guys have to try it and see if you, because I think you guys have the palate of the Mountain, especially Jim. Pass. Yeah, I do. But uh, I enjoyed it. I, 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 I was sold on the gimmick. I was like, ooh, I like mysteries. I'm a sucker for mystery bags. So I was like, ooh, mystery flavor, voodoo. And then I like when I bought it, after I bought it, I realized it was the Halloween edition because it's got like skulls and stuff on it and it's voo. 
as in like you know mm-hmm. voodoo. Right. I was like, oh, nice. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so hundred percent sold on uh, the gimmick. I see the disconnect <laughs> and was, here, and it was enjoyable. I expect the consumer to have, I don't know, slightly more brain power than Derek, and that's my <laughs> fault. And that's my fault. Yeah. Thanks. Just yeah. oh, hold on. This thing's covered oh, in no. cardboard. I don't know what's inside it. Yeah. Would you like to pay me money, oh. please? I'd love to pay you money yeah. Deal. because you know what it could be—a boat. Yep. 100%. That was for you. Good reference. Good. Uh, I always knew you were a Seth MacFarlane fan. One joke in his 30-year career. Best joke. <laughs> Donnie's favorite joke. It was, um, yeah. Nope, nope. I'm definitely uh, the average consumer in that regard. Yeah. Proud of you. Yep. I love <laughs> I love grab bags. Give me a mystery grab bag. I'm probably going to get it. Depending on price, you know. I got a limit on what I'm willing to pay for a mystery grab bag. Six bucks. Oh, I'd buy it for, for six what, bucks. Then what's the Nine point? Bucks. Nine bucks, probably. 15 bucks. It's just gambling at that point. Like, ooh, I could get something that's worth, that's worth 20. Just buy a scratch ticket. Could be well, a boat. Well, I mean, there's a difference in the fact that you're yeah, actually not. still getting something. You just don't know what. Right. It could be somebody's brick that they took out of a house, and they're like, oh, I sold it as a gift bag or a grab bag. Yeah, 100%. I, but that's gar- But I'm not saying that it's not a terrible thing. Then I'm, I'd like you to say it's a terrible thing <laughs> with some conviction. Say it's a terrible thing. It's essentially the same thing as like a magic pack every time. Uh, I'm aware of that, but we can't say that too loudly because that's not gambling. Yeah, because you're still getting a physical product. You're guaranteed yeah. something. Yeah. Whether or not it's valuable. But it's, it's, tech, it's, it's also a mystery. It's, it's like 10% gambling. You're what are you going to use f- that brick you just bought for? You're going to write a, a hate note on it and throw it through an ex-girlfriend's window? Yes. Yeah, you got a product, but... It's possible. Or I'm gonna use it, it here first. Derek's talking his ex-girlfriend. I'm going to use it to... <laughs> or, um, I'm going to use that brick to start building my house. One brick at a time. And, and then I'm going to buy another it. million grab or, bags hoping for more bricks. Or... Mm-hmm. I hope they're the same size. I send it to our Lord and Savior, Donald John Trump, and say, hey, I found the final piece of the wall. And then I send it to him. And then he finishes building the wall. But you paid for it, not Mexico. Doesn't matter. I still gave it to him. I donated it to him, just like I'm donating fifteen dollars a month to him to mm. stop the steal. <laughs> Jesus Christ! <sighs> yeah, I, I hear that campaign's really working. The steal has almost been stopped. It almost, almost, Donnie. Just you wait. Oh my lord! And on that <laughs> note, on pins and needles. You know what? And when the stop the steal actually works, that will be my new favorite holiday with. <laughs> With the seasonal beverage. Shit, we were all so drunk, we elected him twice. <laughs> Beer. <laughs> Actually, can I change that to my favorite holiday? <laughs> no. <laughs> the one holiday that no. will inevitably happen. What's that? Stop the steal. Oh. I mean, I'm going to start celebrating it every year uh, now. <laughs> Stop the steal. <laughs> no. Nope. All right. Sounds good. <laughs> <laughs> so on that note, except with much facetiousness, <laughs> going with um, <laughs> fuck Donald Trump, right? Fuck him. Going with the fall season that is upcoming, okay. right around the corner, and also today being is it around the corner or upon us? <sighs> it's still around the corner. It, it, we're, we're 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 approaching it. We're at the apex. We've accelerated on the gas. We're, we're in pumpkin spice. We, we, we season, have so we have we it's naked in a field yet, so yeah. it's not. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're apex, ass hanging out, drifting through the final part of the corner, getting ready to go downshift into the fall. Okay, and I uh, don't understand. What, can you explain that? <laughs> I don't ride horses. I, I thought you <laughs> <laughs> or human centipedes. I don't ride those either. Horsepedes. Yeah. <laughs> but um, we have today. As of this recording, the second official day of the football season. It was the fourth official day of the football season. <sighs> second official day that games have played there you of go. the football season. Did it. There you go. That better? You like that? I mean, it's still not great, but yeah. But it's accurate. I'll live with it. It's accurate. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, it, it, tell me I'm wrong. <laughs> You're wrong. Easy peasy. <laughs> Done. Boom, did so it. So we got football season. We got fantasy football going. We got hockey right around the corner. Brand new uh, season for the Seattle Kraken. I'm super excited about. And also, don't forget the Mariners are most likely going to miss the playoffs by <laughs> one or two games. I mean, they did just lose to the Diamondbacks, one of the worst fucking oh. teams in baseball for the second time in a row. So, yes, it's... Going to miss it, it by half a game. It's a, it's a great step forward, but... I mean, we're... Seven s- steps back. Go Mariners. Go it's, Mariners. Yeah, it's frustrating because we're 
all the other fucking teams still are mediocre. losing. Still mediocre. And we can't win when we need to win to gain ground. Right. Like, we're a game out. All the other fucking teams have been losing. And we continue to... Anyways. Football. <laughs> I want to talk about something happy, not frustrating. Football. Um, and hockey. Okay. Yes. It's uh, Seahawks got a win today. Fantasy football, I'm doing like I normally do. Probably fucking terrible. I haven't checked since this morning because I was doing terrible. Living that yellow life. Yeah. Just, uh, I, mean, I mean, I guess the obvious question, if I was to say, what's your favorite fall sport be football? That's what everybody looks forward to. But Cricket. Mm. Cricket. Yeah. Cr- I, thought that I was, love a flat bat. I thought that was a summer sport. <laughs> Play year round. It's not seasonal. That's actually probably right. Mm-hmm. My favorite uh, fall sport is watching the Mariners not make the playoffs. <laughs> Cheers. Because it happens, it happens every year. Every year they say the same thing. Like the Mariners do really bad at the beginning of the season, and then they get it together. And then like at one point during the season, they were like, what? They won 10 of their last 11 games or something like that, yeah, right? Yeah. Well, I mean, they were, they were well, on they a, made a playoff push. To be fair. They made a giant playoff push way too early in the season. And then coming on to it, oh. every Mariners fan goes, oh, man, if the Mariners can win like three games <laughs> and every other team can just constantly lose. Mm-hmm. I mean, like like teams play against each other and they both lose. Right. Right. Then yep. we'll then we'll we'll have a shot to get into it, but every team has to lose and we have to win like the next six of six of four games. So and then uh and then the Mariners uh whiff on it and mm-hmm. then they go shoot, better luck next year. So do you think the movie Fast and the Furious, the first one? Yeah. Is the story of the Mariners? Yeah. Because Brian comes in with a super sweet car. Yep. And he's racing Dom. Let's call him the Yankees. Yep. Or something. And Brian would be the Mariners. And they're in that first race. <laughs> and he's so excited because he pulls a little bit ahead. And then he hits that NOS. Makes that playoff push, as it were. But it's way too early. And everybody else knows it. And they're like, ooh. And then Dom, the Yankees, just boom, straight by him. <laughs> in the playoffs in that pennant race. And Brian has destroyed his car. He needs a brand new one. So it's another rebuild year for Brian. Slash the Mariners. If there's one thing I know about the Mariners. <laughs> that analogy was way too perfect, and I if, hate you for that. If there's one thing I know about Fast and the Furious uh-huh. and and mixed together with the Mariners right. and why the Mariners never make it, here's what I'm going to tell you this. Uh-huh. Hector is going to be running three Honda Civics with spoon engines. Yep. And on top of that, he just came in at Harry's and he ordered three T66 turbos with NOS and a Motex system exhaust. That's why the Mariners always lose and never make it to the playoffs. Yep. And Fast and Furious Tokyo Drift was about uh, the Mariners getting Ichiro and really coming <laughs> close. Right. I mean, to be fair, we made the playoffs with Ichiro. Right. We made a playoff push. Yeah. Did it. Dom yeah. still came in at the end and so, said, I got nothing but time. That was, that so was the last time we made the playoffs. <laughs> was the first year of The Yankees still came in <laughs> with their muscle cars and was like, here I go. Call me DK. Drift King. <laughs> Fucking hate that movie Drift so Kings much. and Home Run Kings. <laughs> Similar. Ooh. They're exactly the same. That, God, Drift Kings remember. need NOS to get going up a, right. around the corners. Yep. And baseball players need steroids, steroids to, to, hit, to hit mm. home runs. Yep, yep. yep. Or as I True. like to call them, Homer Rooners. It's too I'm, fast, too furious. <laughs> that's what I'm going to start calling it now. <laughs> Was down in Miami, and that's when we had Robinson Cano. Yeah. <laughs> and then Robinson Cano. Cano? Gano? Cano. Well, there's a soft G in front of it. <laughs> yep, Gano. Good Cano. Good Cano. It's definitely Cano. Because he did a bunch of drugs, and they also were running drugs in Too Fast, Too Furious. Yeah. Yep, yep. He and did get he, popped for PEDs. Yep. And, then he had to, and then he had to flee down exactly. to uh, Ecuador? Costa Rica? Uh, Brazil. Brazil? Yeah, I think he's Brazilian. I know, but the next movie was in like Brazil, wasn't it? Yeah. So then he went so fast. And so furious. So fast and so furious. That he was furiously destroying the waves in his car, mm. hydroplaning down to so, Bras- Brasil. So when uh, when they ended up acquiring the Rock, was that like the Mariners getting Nelson Cruz? Yep. No. Oh, no. sorry. The no. no. No, that's wrong. <laughs> so when they got uh, 
Um, oh, what's his name? Yeah, oh, The Rock is basically Rob Mansfred. Field. Man's Mansfield friend. Mansfield friend. Ten. Just turned. <laughs> I mean, I honestly have no idea what Rock's character is in Fast and the Furious. He was a cop, so it's so. like the Mariners hired uh, the commissioner yeah. okay. to hit for them. But then he was fighting with Dom, the Yankees, because we, we also got Jeter back or something. Yeah. And then they were fighting each other, and then they were both cut because they're bad at baseball. Ah. And then they got Jeter, and he got his best friend, A-Rod, mm. to come down. And A-Rod said, hey, I'm going to fall in love with Dom's sister, That's ludicrous. J-Lo. Sure. <laughs> Yeah, that's oh. actually that's almost it. that's almost it. Because <laughs> no, uh, Brian was the Brian was the Mariners. Yeah, right. So then Dom's I lost sister? I lost track of this whole story. Yep. You know what? It starts to fall apart on movie five. <laughs> it does. <laughs> All we know is that Frodo made it to the mountain and, and through the ring and, and mm. killed Smeagol. So the perfect. end. This has been a, a synopsis, a perfect synopsis of, of the Mariners, Mariners' last ten years. Of the Mariners' last ten years. All right. With a mix in of Lord of the Rings, Lord of the well, I would say <laughs> one ring to rule them all because all the Yankees do is flash their rings, and Mariners like, oh no, the rings, oh no, the rings, and just like how the cheating Houston Astros flash oh. their ring, and then one goes, mm, boom, yeah. it's like a fake ring, like somebody came into Lord of the Rings, like I have the one ring, and people are like, oh, what do you? Do you think they're do all like you? spider rings? Did, you, did your daddy give you that ring? Because like, all... it's not a real ring. Ring pops or spider mm-hmm. rings. It's probably the knockoff that they've spent way too much money on at that uh, <laughs> that mint place. Um, sure. Oh, they got them spearmint. Oh, the Houston mint. They got the peppermint, yes. peppermint rings. Mm-hmm. Yes. Seasonal Houston only. Mint. <laughs> <laughs> or it's the season ticket giveaway. <laughs> oh, you're a season ticket holder? Here you go. Here's a replica of the uh, championship ring. Like, yay. We did it. We're all champions. <laughs> we all cheated to win. It's true. You're a champion? I I'm a champion. Yep. That guy over there. Yeah, well, 100%. Champion. If you're a Houston Astros fan, you cheated. Yep. yep. Your so fandom really, is a lie. We're all the Houston Astros because I can say I won that World Series. Ooh. I just, you know what? I just won that World Series. There you go. Well, congratulations. congratulations. I beat the Astros. Thank you. Thank you. You know what? Yeah. Coach, GM, we're all, we're yeah. all beat, we 20, all beat the Astros. Got it. Who knew in 2017 we were going to be so fucking good? I we mean, did it. I, think it all. Da- I think my dad knew when I was born. He said, this guy's going to go on yeah. to beat the Houston Astros. In and the you World know who Series. else knew? Who's that? ESPN, because it was, oh, yeah. and ESPN because it was on the cover five years prior. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they were like, Donnie, twenty seventeen. Well, I'm gonna it. cut that out. Oh yeah, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I missed your whole initial question. What was it? I got so hung up in this. What's your favorite fall sport? <laughs> fall sport. Um. Okay. And I'm that's when s- I said cricket, <laughs> and then you said watching the Mariners lose, and we went on the whole. Yeah, that's why I'm going to stay on that. Mm. I'm not changing my answer. Perfect. <laughs> uh, so close. Or it could be when uh, the Sounders make it back to the MLS Cup and win it again. Ooh. I think it. the reigning champions will have something to say about that. I know. If they even make the playoffs. I think they're still pretty high in their division. <laughs> I don't think so. Well, you know what? Quick Google search, Derek. Why don't you uh, extol us with a song or something? Oh. Okay. Yeah. That's What's not your next topic? They are not. <laughs> they are not, huh? <laughs> nope. Oh. Weird. Uh that's funny. Where are they, Donnie? I don't know. Low. <laughs> are they like <laughs> tenth out of fifteen or wow. so? Wow. Don't worry. They're about to make a playoff push. <laughs> Better get those spoon engines ready. Well, I mean, to be fair, if they're in tenth, they only have to move up two spots because isn't it eight spots go? Yep. Oh, then yeah, they're yeah they're not even that far behind Inter yeah. Miami and what's Atlanta their, United. What's the points? Twenty seven. And what are the points that the other guys have? Uh, 29 and 30. Yeah. And then oh, okay. 31, 31, 32, 34. So they're within seven points of fourth place. How close are they to, to, the, uh, to the to the revolution? Oh, uh, 28 points behind. God damn. <laughs> yeah. What yeah, are the they rev- at? What's their, what's their record? The New England Revolution? Yeah. 17 wins, four draws, four losses. Wow. Fuck. Yeah. That's good. They're, they're quite good. They're in the run for the supporter shield right now, right? Yep. Yeah. They're who the uh, Sounders are chasing. So what's your what's your next uh, topic for us there, Derek? Yes, cable versus streaming services. Because streaming services seem to be getting just as expensive as cable. Yeah, it's getting really frustrating. Really frustrating, especially well, you combine when all of them together. Yeah. Well, even just by themselves, because you have like Hulu Live. I think is around like fifty something dollars a month. Um, Sling TV. 
I think has raised their prices since their initial introductory of 30 mm-hmm. and they're around 50 something. Uh, the one that uh, Root Sports just recently went to is $80 a month to get the package that would include Root Sports, which is fucking outrageous. And it's like, you have all these options so that you can get rid of the devil that is cable. But they're charging out the fucking ass, which is like, does it really make any sense? We are part of the uh, cable cutter generation. Mm-hmm. So I think a lot of us are just like, well, down with the big corporations, you know, down with the monopolies. Then, yeah, yeah, we'll pay, we'll pay that extra, so that way we can have everything at whenever we can watch whatever we want, whenever we want over cable, which is on a on a schedule, sort of a lot, because the ones that have the live TV are more or less the same as cable. It's scheduled by the network that you happen to be watching. Yeah. And then you can on demand watch it, but you can do that with cable too. So you tell me that if I were to go out there right now yes. to my TV, I could rewatch the Seahawks game. It happened over seven hours ago. I believe so. I think that's how on demand works. Yeah. That's the whole point of on demand yeah. is you could watch it when you demand it. Or you could DVR record it and rewatch it then. Who DVRs anything anymore? Apparently what? a lot of people. Yeah. What? It's still a thing. It's just like buying a DVD. Why, why would you pay $20 a month to watch whatever has The Office right now when you can just go buy The Office? Good point. And then watch it for as many times as you want to infinity. Yeah. I don't know. I never okay. thought about it. I, I right. don't know. Because what else are you watching on Paramount Plus? There's not that much good stuff on Paramount Plus. Tons of good stuff on Paramount yeah. Plus. Without, Yellow- without naming Strangers with Candy, yeah. name three <laughs> other things. Yellowstone. Okay. See, I think I can watch that on Yellowstone. Peacock. No, that's and, one thing. And Yellowstone. Okay. So there's it's not that so much... good that you have to you know, that's you can watch not it three true. times. But see, I think I can watch that on Peacock, and I get that included with my Comcast internet. Yep. So I don't need to buy Paramount Plus. Buy it anyways. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The streaming services are getting a little bit out of hand. Mm-hmm. Like, I get you, we're losing money with cable somehow, but you know what? You're still multi billion dollar corporations. You don't need to squeeze every last drop out of people who can't afford anything else to watch your stupid shows and then complain when nobody watches your stupid shows. You can't have it both ways. You got to make it affordable. That's why the internet exists and you can get a VPN and just start downloading shit. Make it affordable or don't charge me for it. I think the one advantage to the streaming services versus the cable is that you can share the streaming services until even. they stop you. Yeah, but have any of them actually done that, though? I mean, well, I know Apple TV did because Apple fucking hates its customers. Yep. Um, And I think YouTube has. But other than that, like, Netflix embraced it. No, Netflix has started to crack down. They say. I don't think they've actually done anything because they embraced it early. And then, like, they got a new CEO. And the new CEO is like, we're losing money. We got to crack down. And people were like, okay, we'll stop subscribing then. And they're like, whoa, 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 wait a minute. What? Yeah. So... There's the kind of the, the hit or miss, but mm. it's currently until they try to force people to all buy their own subscriptions and everybody just says, well, fuck you. And they go back to the devil they know. Um, I, I really don't think they're going to. The It just, I don't think there's any money in cracking down on it. I think that'd be a losing bet overall. I mean, if they keep doing, you know, their own IPs and their own original programming, there will be. There's not that much good stuff aside from the, some flagship programs. There's old movies, which are nice to see, but mm. if they weren't popping up and being shoved in your face, you wouldn't even remember they existed and you wouldn't watch them. There's Strangers with Candy that some people watch, but yep. that's not something people are clamoring for, yep. let's yep. be honest. Yep. It's going to have a resurgence now but that it's like, on a streaming yeah. program. There's <laughs> four or five things. HBO has movies, which is nice, but even then, it's half of them aren't worth seeing. Well, I think the advantage that HBO Max has is the fact that they have a lot of movies that are in theaters also included with well, the subscription. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. So there is that advantage, right. I think, which how long is that going to last with theaters potentially going back full open? And... We'll see. But I think HBO will still do it because that's the one drive HBO Max. Because, yeah. again, they don't have that much original programming that's any good. The Wire. That which was 30 it? years ago. I still haven't seen it. <laughs> is it still good? Yeah. <clears throat> See? But I don't need I don't need to buy that on HBO Max. I have the DVDs. Okay. Yeah. But saying, you can borrow. If, you that, can... if that's the reason you have HBO Max, cancel your subscription. I just saved you <laughs> 20 bucks a month. 
No, I have it for other reasons. The porn. Mm-hmm. Well, I wasn't Red gonna. Shoe s- Diaries. I wasn't gonna say it on air, but it's uh, <laughs> has to do with Harry Potter. I said it. I did it. I don't know why. Wouldn't that be on Paramount? Nope. It's. <laughs> It was Warner Brothers it property, so oh, okay. H- and now it's on HBO. I couldn't remember. The- also, you have the Blu-rays. I'm staring right at them. <laughs> not all the Blu-rays. It's not the same. You probably have them in 4K too. Let's be real. I don't. Hmm. Yeah, you can we're look looking. My, yep. look my DVD mm-hmm. collection. Oh no, nope, I definitely see them in 4K. <laughs> definitely. You have Zombie Land in DVD. You need to update your uh, your collection. Now. I know. That's how old it is. That collection's like that's when I stopped by. I stopped buying old. movies a while ago. <laughs> Stop buying DVDs. Well, let's, let's talk about the streaming service and how that's killed the pawn shop movie sales that I used to go to all the time. Yeah. Because I do have a large Blu-ray collection. Mm-hmm. Smaller now than it used to be, but I went back to that pawn shop where we've been so many times. And yeah, instead yeah. of having two walls of it, it's, one it's now. now it's more one little section oh, of garbage. That's a bummer. Yeah. So now now the big corporations that Jimmy hates so much. Big Corpo. Yeah, Big Corp. Big Big Blu-ray, uh, Big Blu-ray has decided that you shouldn't be able to own physical copies of things because that will give you too much access to it, and you won't have to pay them monthly to watch it. Ah, the B- on, B- on a seasonal schedule because maybe we don't want them to watch Independence Day outside of any other time than July, so Thanks. you don't get to watch it anymore. Thanks, BBC. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because Blu-ray is hyphenated. Mm. Big Blu-ray Corporation, <laughs> the BBC. Mm-hmm. <laughs> But that's there. There we're going back to the problem of seasonal things from big corporations where they just they decide when you're going to watch it. Yeah. So then we just have to wait 20 years before either Disney or Amazon buys everything, and then everything's on one streaming service, and we're just enslaved to Amazon or Disney. It'll probably be both because I think they're both large enough that they can't buy each other. So it's going to be three corporations at the or four four corporations at the end of the day. You're going to have all your uh, shopping needs at Walmart. Then you're going to have online with Amazon, your entertainment with Disney, and then your food with McDonald's. I will never shop at Walmart. That's going to be your only choice unless I, you... I will shop at Amazon <laughs> <laughs> before I shop at Walmart. Donnie, do you, I would... You, <laughs> hold on, Donnie. Why don't you take a drink of that water? Hold on. <laughs> really just, <sighs> hold on. Breathe. Here's, here's going to be the kicker. Here's going to be the kicker. <laughs> <laughs> that nobody saw coming. You're going to have the four giant corporations that control everything. Berkshire Hathaway is going to own all four of them. He's not even close to owning any of them. Yeah, but, but he's the largest conglomerate in the world. That's why I say that. Or Amway. <laughs> here's, again, we have a lot of 20-year-old takes. <laughs> Here, here's, how, here's, how this, here's how this bundling is going to work, okay? Mm-hmm. You want to get it for cheaper, right? Sure. You, I love cheap things. You got to get five of your friends to get in on this bundling. <gasps> then for every saying. dollar, every one of your friends that they have, that's $1 off of your subscription. Oh my goodness. Then if those friends get, five, get friends. five more friends, that's also another dollar off wow. of your subscription. Soon, you're going to be getting paid to watch it. It's an MMSS or... M L. This group is really bad at initial uh, acronyms. <laughs> Multi- multi-layer subscription services. I like it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yes. See, it's a, it's just that simple. <laughs> if we just, hit, I I got a guy. I'll hook you up with him. <laughs> so okay. So let me get this straight. So as long as Netflix is not cracking down on passwords, right? What we do is we buy a subscription of Netflix, right? And I get how many how many screens I get. What is it? Five. I yeah. think five is the highest. For like twenty bucks yeah. or whatever. Uh, I get four friends. Yeah, to yeah. pay me ten dollars a piece without telling them. Yeah, they can share one of my screens. I'm still left with my one screen, which is perfect because yep, I only yep, have yep. the one screen. Yeah, there you go. So now I'm making forty dollars a month. Can, can we go back real quick? You only have one screen that I watch Netflix on. Yeah. Oh, okay. I'm not a monster. Yeah, okay. I'm. A, I'm allowed to leave a room and not have the TV blaring at me, Derek. I'm sorry, Derek. Do you work for Big BBC? No, no, no. I was just, you know, I mean, you know, I, I think, think the average home has like four or five screens in it now. Yeah, so. I have like ten screens. I only watch TV on one of them. Oh, okay, okay. All right, just clarification. Please go back. Right. So I now, my, now my four he friends. He watches TV on one. He uses the other one for workouts. Exactly. Mm-hmm. He yep. uses the other one as a uh, screensaver ah. for his pictures. Yep. Yep. That well, he takes. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. It's, but for the other one, what I do is I watch porn on that one. I was going to yeah. say there's one. And that, that way one I can ex- just scrape it and clean it when I need exclusive to. Exclusive porn. Yep. It was, yep. It's squeegeeable. 
It's a it's a waterproof no. screen. Uh-huh. <laughs> nope. Is that LCD? Uh, actually, it's a LSD. Ooh. Wow. Good. Good. All good. Right. Good. The Liquid best sperm count. detector. So you're. <laughs> So you're at forty dollars a month now, right? But then right. for a ten dollar or fifteen dollar a month uh, right. subscription, but we can't go any further than that. So it's a two level marketing scheme. It's all I right. Just need four stupid friends. Do you guys have Netflix? <laughs> I mean, or you just have the guy that has a giant corporation pay for it, and then you just share your uh, information to your other friends, and they all get it for free. Do we know someone who works at Netflix? Uh, no, I don't work at Netflix, but I do get my. Uh, Jerk pointed at himself. He works I, for Netflix. I, I get. I don't. No, no. I. I didn't. I didn't, know he, I didn't let him machine. finish. I didn't let him finish when I pointed. This is scripted. Um, I thought he was going to go with. Uh, do we know somebody that does that? And I was in, why I pointed at me. This is typical. Yeah. That's a typical have, line from people that work for BBC. Right. Yeah. I have a giant corporation pay for my net, Netflix account, and then I share it with everybody. So. Mm. Seems like a lot of work. And by a giant corporation, it's really it means not Netflix, right? Exactly. Yeah, yeah. big pop yeah. of Netflix. Yes, <laughs> yes, big pop of Netflix. Mm-hmm. But no, I think that's the advantage to the the cord cutting streaming services versus the cable is the fact that until people, the companies actually do start cracking down on it, you can share it. But mm. I think once you, I think you'll see once they do start cracking down on it, I think you're going to see cable a cable resurgence. Well, should we bring it home? Sounds good to me. Yeah. As always, we would like to thank our friend, Mr. Jordan Mosley, for writing our music for our podcast. If you're interested in more of his music, you can find him on Spotify and or iTunes. That's Jordan Mosley, M-O-S-L-E-Y. Ooh, since we're in our thankings, can I come up with a suggestion right now that I just thought of? Sure. I'd, after we thank Jordan Mosley, what I'd like to do is for us to raise our glasses, be they empty or full, mm-hmm. and just have a moment of silence for the betrayer who's no longer with us. Ugh. So just, I mean, we don't have to announce it, but we can just say, you know what? In memory of those who have betrayed us and are gone, a moment of silence. And there we go. Hmm. Did it. The betrayer. <laughs> and I'd like it to be a weekly thing, please. We can, <laughs> we can make it happen. Perfect. So, Donnie, let's say that I'm an active listener. You're an active listener. I'm an active listener, and I want to get a question out to us yeah. for us to answer and or talk about. Okay. Well, you could use uh, United States Postal Service. Yep. You could email us or mail us a letter. We'd love getting letters at 12468 yep. South 1 Street in uh, Seattle, Washington at, uh, I don't know, whatever zip code that is. Assign them to... I thought it was 1600 Pennsylvania Avenue. No. It's 1600 Pennsylvania Avenue. Is that what I said? I thought you said 6800. No, 1600 oh. Pennsylvania Avenue. Enunciate. No, that's that's where the president lives. Not your president, of course. My president. Okay. Because I did vote for him. Right. Yeah. Not you. My president. You're trying to stop the steal. I am. Yeah. So... Still alive and... I mean, he'll... Eventually, all the dates, it'll all come together. Mm-hmm. Right. They'll all coalesce into one meaningful victory someday. Oh, we're waiting yeah. for it. We're just waiting for Arizona to really just be yeah, top. Really That's re- the start. recount those votes. Yeah. Yeah. Them still, in Georgia. Still count. Hashtag still counting. Takes a while to count them. <laughs> uh, but no, you guys, you can reach us at topshelfbanterpod at gmail.com. And if you search that email address, we're on the Twitters and the, the Instagrams and the Facebooks. Oh, the Face Dukes. The OnlyFans. We're still there. Yep, yep. Still active. I mean, one set of nipples still, less. Still free for you. Well, I mean, his is still there. He never... <laughs> he, signed a, he signed an agreement. They're there for in, you know eternity. Ah, perfect. Yeah. <laughs> and luckily, OnlyFans decided to go away from their stance on non-nudity, so those oh, nipples yeah. are still there. Right, exactly. Right. But male nudity is still okay. It was just female nudity because... Dare Puma. Um, <laughs> my body, my choice. Exactly correct. <laughs> we live in Texas, and unless you're a woman, that's what matters. Uh, yeah, but that's where all the ways you can contact us. And if you have a question about abortions or women's rights, <laughs> please, please contact us as well. Uh, all right. Or the Satanic Church. Yep. They're also a great resource. Mm-hmm. Fan 100% a great resource. Some of our listeners won't like that, but that's okay. That's fine. Yeah. I mean, if they actually did some research in the Satanic Church, they might change their mind. Anywho, that's Donnie. That's Derek. That's Chapin. And I'm Jimmy. We hope you have enjoyed the frustrations behind our opinions on these topics. Thank you for listening to Top Shelf Banter. And we, we done. done. Top Shelf Banter. Well, I'm more right than wrong.